here, here on the road south of Jasper, we're at Athabasca Pass, 55 kilometers. Murray sitting on the sign. There's our first elk we were taking a picture of. Whistle at it so it lifts his head. There she is. <whistles> Care less. Licking the salt there on the rocks. Right near the Columbia ice fields here, and it's take a picture of that mountain that's showing up so bright. Another big mountain up on the left hand side here. I don't know if it'll show up. It's a long ways down there, eh? Should look up on those slopes to see if there's any goats, Murray. That's the gravel down there that can, has been brought down by the Columbia ice field. That's ice way up in the crevice there. That's part of the Columbia ice fields. There we are, all set up, ready to go. Columbia ice fields chalet, just at the top of the summit here. Real cold wind blowing up here today. Some more ice fields up there. The wind isn't going to help help these pictures any. Columbia Ice Fields Glacier. See all the people up on the glacier hiking up there. Murray's going to take off and hike up there right now. That's a half a mile away, at least where those people are walking. Some pretty dangerous looking crevasses up there too. There's all the, the gravel that's come down on top of the glacier. Some of it's buried underneath that gravel, which was all pushed by the glacier there to begin with. He's gonna see if he can hike up there. Got lots of stamina, a young fella. Up there is all gravel that was put there originally by the glacier as it came down when it filled up this area. It's receded 
way back up to where it is now, but all that gravel up there was put there by the glacier, just from inside the motorhome because it's too windy outside and the camera picks up the wind noise. The way up on the trail there now. That's Murray walking away up there now. He's running as close as I can bring him up. Murray's sliding down the, the ice field up there. He's the furthest one up in that group. There with his hand going up. That's Murray. I hope she wouldn't get out on that too far. I guess it's hard. I've been watching the never saw There's our Murray coming down this big rock. Big glacier. Yep. All by himself. He looks went, like he's half flying. He went, went a long ways up there. I never thought he'd go that far. I'm glad he did, Benny. I am too. You'd be glad he did. I guess that's one of the privileges of traveling with Grandma and Grandpa. <laughs> Making good time now. Lots of energy. Glaciers up there in the rocks. Murray after his big long walk. Big boy. The bear back in there. What is he? Bible Institute, here we are. All the people going on this Three Hills tour. We can get on the buses. Oh, three hills. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah. Field of canola, it's all in bloom there. Looking back down south towards Three Hills Town and the school itself. Watch the barbed wire. Up of the Three Hills themselves, that's the hills to the west. And we're on the number one to the north here. Beautiful. All those bright yellow fields of canola. Murray's with me. We're up here on, this is looking to the east from the top of the Three Hills. Looking now to the west, southwest. Right on top of the, the north hill of called Three Hills. Get up here, I've had to walk down the road to find a place to get back up. On the flat there. Beautiful country from up here. Bit of a storm way off to the east there. Another month, of course, the weed will be high and burnt. They still make dress on the roads. <coughs> well, that's why they said. I see. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Right. <laughs> well, my name is Tony Penner, and I'm the Pioneer Grain Buyer, and I'm a Christian. I love the Lord. Amen. Amen. Good. That's where I stand. But you know that first. But a farmer comes in, he makes out a permit book, first of all. That gives him the right to haul grain, and I guess you can go from there. Here's a little diagram of an elevator inside. Yeah. Here's where you can drive in and dump your load. And as the light goes up, it takes the grain up and then it distributes to whatever bin you want to go to. And there's also a back pit. You can elevate up and load cars or have another spot going the other way, which loads trucks. We're inside of a, a Pioneer grain here. elevator here. Yeah. She's an old annex is leaning pretty bad. Probably going to be coming down pretty soon. An Alberta wheat pool up there. It's gravity. Oh, it's gravity. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the weight I come down easier. The weight is not exactly balanced. You just gained weight, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> I weigh too much. I've been eating too much. That's it. Main Street, Three Hills. I don't know if you can hear the chimes, but I can hear chimes playing somewhere. Elevator company. Still around, still buying grain. This is the elevator that we're visiting. The tour is just about over now and we're getting ready to go. I thought I'd take a picture of the lineup of all the elevators. I, I guess the most of them were here 40 years ago when I was here at school. Doing a real good job of filling everybody in.
Three Hills Museum. An old railroad station that we used to travel to when it was downtown on the railroad there. Anybody there? Nobody there, no one sleep. I got you. There's our RCMP mannequin. No organ. Looking glass and everything. There, it's working. I'm here to come to the year of all of these. Nice old Cadillac, too. Chalmers. I'm a devil's machine right here. Not sure why it's not working. <laughs> Got a crop of oats coming out of there. <laughs> 